Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Well, here we are in my lovely little kitchen. So it's going to be cooking time. So first thing first, turn on the air conditioner. Yes, look at that, aircon. Now, today's Saturday, so it's half day for II today, and that means you won't be in tomorrow, being Sunday. So what I do is make up a roast when I can on a Saturday. Do you want to go outside, dickhead? Hmm? Mm. Well, you saw your mum the shit with the goats. Go on, go on, fat dog. I'll send you to the Bahabal. That will learning. So what I like to do is on a Saturday, I said is make up a roast, and um, then we have a lot left over then for on um, Sunday, because Sunday chicken and I are quite busy, busy days on Sundays. So that means uh, we don't have to worry about cooking. We just pull it out and warm it back up again and have, you know, like roast pork sandwiches for lunch or rolls. Or we can have um, pork and something or other for dinner the next night. Well, sounds like bullshit, but it's true. Right, so this is one of our own farm pigs. This is the one that Bob the Butcher and I had uh, made up. Okay, we have all these different um, nettings. Uh, this one here they call a butcher's tie netting, this one here. Now, get yourself a knife, nice and sharp. Now, I have one of these little beauties here, look. Okay. This is how easy it is. Right, now, shirt cam. Now what I do, nice sharp knife, nice and sharp, I can stick this under here and score it. Look at that, look, look at that. So if you have yourself a sharp knife, guys, you can do just about any fucking thing. Look at that, this is gonna be lovely crispy bacon. Uh, sorry, bacon, crispy pork bits. It's just like you have on the bacon, I suppose. Come on, cut through here. Oh, look at that. Oh. So what we have, as you can see, look at that, look. All nicely sliced. See? So what I'll do is I'll pour some hot water over that, boiling hot water over it, because I like boiling hot water, as you know, I do on my chickens, tightens up the skin. This will tighten up the skin and open it up. Then I can put some salt inside for when it's cooking and oiling, and I'll have the most beautiful crackling. So there you go, that's the first stage is this. Right, so, some boiling hot water straight out the kettle, straight on top. Okay, nice, and look at that, oh. Now, this will go stay in the tray, the water will stay in the tray. All right, and that's what's gonna keep the steaming up on it. All right. So it keeps the steaming up. Look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. See this, look? All open, look at that. God. You need a good sharp knife, guys, seriously. Get yourself a good sh knife sharpener. And um, like I said, the one I use is this one here. And like I said, you can use these old types here with a, all right? This has replaced them now, this one here. This is what's replaced them. So at the right angle, and all you do is just draw your knife through it. And like I said, you've seen how sharp that is. Let's just slice through that just like it's a razor blade. Right, now what I'm gonna do is mix up. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. Right, I'm not saying a little bit because I like a little bit of salt. About that much of it there. Now this is what I'm gonna put with it. A bit of cumin seed, a little bit of mustard seed, and a little bit of fennel. Okay, and then I'm going to grind it all up, okay? Now, one thing is, you see people with these um, pedestal and mortars, and they do it wrong. Put yourself down, or something nice and thick. Get yourself a couple of layers of, um, of um, hand towel or something like that. I use the, uh, the, the mittens. All right, always put that underneath it. Then, you can stand there and bash the shit out of it, all right? And there's no issues. It's when they put it on the surface, bad shit. There you go, look at that. Right, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put half a teaspoon of each of these in and give it a pound down. And I might even put some, a little bit of pepper with that as well, black pepper. And then I'll rub that into here, into all the joins, into there like that. Right, back at you. Right, so there we go, all done. La la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Okay. Now, hit it, grind it round. Okay. Hit it and grind it round. 
keep it on a padded surface, you got no problems. It amazes me when I see some of these professional cooking shows of these so-called professional fucking channels, and they put the pedestal straight onto this bench, and they start hammering away. And it's like, for Christ's sake, put something underneath it, will you? God, now, ring it around circles and circles, circles. Look at that. Look at that, hey? Get yourself a good one, too. These ones I buy in Thailand, these ones. You get them all different sizes. Great big bastards, small bastards. They're all bastards, mate. Bastards! And I hope you're taking notice of this tropical tin in the Philippines. And I hope your birthday went well the other night. All right, here we go. Look at that. All right. Oh. Fuck, that's good, I tell you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub this all in and make sure it gets right into all those seams that I've put in there. Okay, and just by rubbing it like so, I'll be back at you in a sec, guys. Look at that. God, that's good. Okay, so I've done it, I've coated it all on the sides as well. All the sides are coated as well. Now, I'll give this a little little drop drop on my favorite jack daniels number seven tennessee sour mash whiskey yes look at that just a nice little just to get it kick started look at that nicely 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 that's it voila right here we are so we have our probe i'll put that in about halfway through cooking this is the one that i use okay this is the tp20 thermal probe right love it every roast that i cook is always got the probe on it i don't cook the time i don't cook to wait i don't cook the color and all that bullshit it is stick the probe in chicken pork beef fucking whatever turn it to chicken do you want it um rare medium or well done click done and it'll send it by wireless to the little unit and say bink you're now at temperature take it out the oven let it rest that's how I do it, boys and girls. So this one will be the nice a pork setting, and I'll show you after. I'll put links in the description for my lovely knife sharpener from Amazon. Like I said, it, this makes it like a bloody razor blade, guys. It really does. And I'll also put in the, the uh, probes as well. I'm very pleased with these things. I tell you, I use them a lot. But don't store them with the batteries inside of them. Make sure you take the batteries out every time you use it. Remember that hint. Right. The oven's hot, into the oven. Okay, so he's in there nicely. So what I'll do is I'll leave him, I'll leave him there for an hour and then I'll put the probes inside and um, we'll see how we go on that. So in the meantime, I'm gonna get cutting up. We got some potatoes that Chick's brought from in town because we don't grow potatoes. But this big ass pumpkin is what Chick Chick grew in her garden. So I'm going to cut that up and I'm gonna do that. I'll cook that in the pan and when it's halfway ready, cooked, I drizzle it with a bit of honey over the top of it. Try it. You'll like it. So I'm going to do some pumpkin and some potato roast today. Because we take in turns. I'll do a roast potato one roast one day with roast potatoes, roast pumpkin. And the next time I do a roast, I'll let you get for her rice. And I fucking hate roast with rice, I tell you. But you've got to share the loving, you know? You've got to share the loving. But this time, it's my turn to have roast vegetables. So I'm looking forward to that. I've sliced this new pumpkin up straight out the garden. All right, let's see how we go with this roast. All right, so I've got some fresh water, salted water, nice and fresh. Now I'm gonna cut these, I want these nice large ones. Some days I'll make small ones actually, and um, cut all these little, into quarters or even less. And um, I'll cook them up in the fry pan and stick them in the oven. And they're actually quite a nice way to have. But today, I want to have Nice, big, chunky potatoes. So what I do is stick them in some water, salted water, like I said. Okay, uh, put it on the boil, on my little stove. Voila, and Bob's your uncle, Uncle Bob. Now I'm gonna boil them until they're, they're softish. Softish. Now when they're softish, then I'll stick them into the, um, I'll stick them into the oven, and then they'll be nice and light inside with a crispy outside. Right. Let's attack this bloody pumpkin. Gosh, it's a big bastard, isn't it? So I'd say that um, Chick will take a nice portion of this across to Mary Lou because we share and she will bring some of her pumpkins to us when she is growing them. 
So get your little tiny knife out, okay? This is a little pocket knife I use. Right. Come on, bitch. You have to use both hands on this, guys, to get it. That's your bloody big bastard, this bastard, I tell you. Ah, uh, uh, look at that. What a frigging beauty. Oh, I tell you, lovely roast pumpkin for dinner tonight, boys and girls. God, that's huge. I'll tell you, she'll take you over that for Mary Lou for sure. When I do these, I like to try and stick as much as I can to the to the side here, so they're nice thick pieces. You know, I don't like those little ones. And I can even make up some some um, pumpkin soup as well. Is um, pumpkin soup is quite easy. It's just is to roast all your pumpkin, roast it all with a bit of salt, pepper, and um, honey. Roast it till it goes nice and yummy. Then stick it in the blender. Add fresh cream to it. There you have it. Add a little vegetable stock if you like, something like that. But um, that's how easy it is. Some people boil the, the pumpkin and then make soup out of it. Roast it, guys. Roast the pumpkin, stick it in the blender, a little bit of vegetable um, vegetable stock goes down well. No problem whatsoever. Fresh cream, beautiful. But have a look at that, that's from Chick's Garden. Good on you, Chick. Okay, time. So like I said, when I store these, I always take the batteries out because otherwise, if you get the batteries leaking, it's buggered up your machine and it's no good at all. Okay, this is the probes. Now you can get wireless ones of these. I tell you, they're good for if you've got a spit roast. Absolutely fantastic. But I don't have a spit roast at all, so no problem. So this comes with two. Two sets, but um, I only use one inside the meat because I'm not. It's not critical for me to see what the uh, temperature is. It's not like it's a um, charcoal or a wood fire where you've got to control it mainly by that. Okay, so this is how simple it is, guys. Right, potatoes are going yummy. Look at that boil your bastards boil. Nice and soft. Okay, so let's pull this out. I'm gonna just slide him in like that. Alright, here I hear you. Mmm, that's in. That's it. That is in. Alright, that'll give me the temperature. Mm. That'll give me temperature easy. If I come across to this one, here we are. So the meat. Veal, chicken, pork. Okay, you got medium, 160. So taste, medium, well done. Or well done. Medium, we'll go for a medium well. So that is 165, and at the moment it's on 66. Right, so we'll just wait. I don't have to worry about basting it, I don't have to worry about checking the temperature anymore. I don't have to worry about anything. All I do now is the time I walk into the kitchen, I just walk up and have a look at this. And when this little darling goes beep, 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 she's right on temperature. Pull it out, let it sit. Right, back, easy as that, guys. Back later. Right, so potatoes have been drained. Put the fork through, they're nice and softish. Now I'm just going to add a little bit more just to coat these while they cool down because they're not going in for another couple of hours yet. They're not going in. So they will just chill out nicely. All right, guys, so we're only up to 145 at the moment. Still got another 20 to go. So um, let's have a quick look-see. Oh, look at this, darling. I love you. I love you. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull it out, baste it with all the juices back over on top of it again, and stick him back in. See how that goes. Right, so this is what our product looks like. Okay, so I've taken the skin off the top and I put it on the tray because Chick said, no, it needs a little bit more. So I fixed that one up. That's done. I thought it was all right. Now, all the juices I've got back into here with all the potatoes and the pumpkins, the rest I've got in this thing here. Okay, and what this does, later on I'll take all the gravy juices and all the fats and all that water, everything out of here 
into here halfway through cooking. And then what this does, it's got a little hole up underneath. And when it separates, okay, it'll separate all the flats, the fats will come to the top, and all your juices will go to the bottom. And all you have to do is squeeze this handle, and out will come all the lovely flavoured juices. Look at that, see? And all your fat stays on the top. Very good for your cholesterol. Right guys, so this comes to the end of our lovely meal. So, the pork carved up absolutely gorgeous, darling. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Ah, oh, so now the potatoes. Pull out potatoes. Yummy, 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 yummy. Some pumpkin. And the best thing is, like I said, we've got enough for another meal later. And I've got the pork crackling warming back up in here. Yes! So there you go guys, this is our Saturday meal on the Aussie farm in the Philippines and I hope you enjoy and wherever you are in the world, lots of good tucker, lots of good tucker. So this is all done, the gravy's done from the juices, so remember say this is your dispenser, all your fat will float on top and all your juices will sit on the bottom and you can put that into your gravy, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous.